Welcome to the City of the Dead, guys. <laughs> yeah, we have a little issue with collecting the dead. Hmm. <laughs> what is up, guys? Major Magpie, yeah. welcome back to City Skylines. This is my city of Magtropolis. Um, well, I've been saving money up to make a half decent episode. We have been having a few issues regarding the dead, regarding collecting the dead, and that's self-inflicted. A lot to do with the fact that I've decided to empty these full cemeteries uh, to our crematoriums at about the same time where there's only one way in and out of the cemeteries. So that is going to be one of our first protocols in this episode. But before we go ahead and do anything with that, I'm heading over to the episode, uh, to the airport from the last episode. Uh, and you can see we have a fire. And what I need to try and prevent from here is our airport burning down like it did previously. So I am going to put in a temporary fire station to help deal with this shenanigans. Uh, so that's that one. This is literally just temporary because I don't even know where I want to put it. So I'm just going to go with the biggest fire station. Uh, which is that one. 36 fire engines. And I'm going to put it on the corner here. About there. Because then it'll cover everything. Boom. It's in. And hopefully these guys will go and help fight that fire. <coughs> go and help fight that fire. <laughs> I'm guessing they need electric and water then, do they? Right, you can get your electricity from this line over here. And just do that to there and out to there. And I suppose we had better give you water since you're a fire station. <laughs> Firefighting without water should be fun. Uh, might as well cover that gap as well. There we go. Right. Go and help fight that fire. Yeah, they're not getting the message. Although there is a couple of fire engines down there. Maybe they've already gone? Yeah. <laughs> right, hopefully they'll keep our airport intact. Okie dokie. This episode, I want to focus on getting in and out of here. Obviously, traffic is an issue. We've got her Central here. It looks like they're having a massive orgy. Uh, we need to try and rectify this. I Figure if we give them a couple of ways to get in and out of this area, that would probably help. Uh, but another thing that's not helping is this massive traffic jam here, which seems to go on as far as the eye can see. And that is obviously to get into our new district, which we're going to go ahead and name now. I've already painted it. I didn't mean to do this in the last episode, but we didn't get round to it. For one reason or another. So at the moment it's called Grove Heights. We are going to rename this to one of my favourite places in the UK to visit, and that is... Lake Windermere. Just need to make sure the eyes in there. <laughs> hey! There we go, we have Lake Windermere. I'll just show you this area that is zoned. It's our biggest district yet, I believe. Yeah, it is. It's quite a size, it covers all of our lake, plus a little bit of the surrounding estates. And halfway up the river. Wait, well, just up to the far side of the railway station, basically. But yeah, now that we've got that done, what we need to do is tackle roads. Uh, and in here, I would like to put like a bus stroke um, train station or subway terminus. Probably subway because we did have a subway station in here that we've removed and I would like to put it in even if we've got to move it a little further south of where it was sort of thing. Yeah, but let's go ahead and do that now. That should be in roundabouts. I've already pre-selected it. It is this here. Bus station plus metro in roundabout. And this is it. And I want to put it probably there. 12 grand. Bomb. All right, let's have a look. I mean, obviously, I've got to put bus stations on this. I would like to put our sub subway station, like I say, is on here. Yeah, I'm just going to remove this road from here. Probably back to about there. 
Uh, let's. Uh, why haven't you done that? Right. Take two. Uh, we want to keep our falling road. I'm going to go with uh, probably trees or whatever it is. Uh, no, we're not. Just, that's just occurring to me. What the hell is going on there? <laughs> I know it would be a good idea. Let's build our buildings on the main road. Yeah. I'm not particularly sure what the hell was going on there. Remove them. Hopefully they'll not return. There's a couple here as well. I'm going to try putting these in again, because I'm not sure if it was the type of road I used. It looks like it was. I must have turned Collide off when we put these roads in. And basically decided it's a good idea to start building on the road. Not ideal. It looks a little bit messy. Anyways, back to our roundabout stroke bus station, stroke metro station, stroke whatever else you want to call it. Uh, we're going to go with a Falling grass verge, and it's got to be freeform. Get some nice tidy angles. Let's just bring that around. Yeah, and on there like so. And this I've also been done off camera. I figured it was going to be a little bit finicky. So to do it off cam, and then I would take my time for it, and I've done it. A little bit subway underneath there, and I've also dropped our railway underneath it. Uh, and it just allows us now just to put this road in. And we're going to go with straight road. Uh, let's go to there. Do this gradually, I think. If it let us. Which it's not going to. Let's also just put that in straight again. So, take two. Down to there. Let's freeform it on our uh, oval about. On to probably there. There we go, that should keep that flow nicely. These guys should co start coming down there now, which they are. That's awesome. Uh, now let's put this road on as well. This is a six lane with trees, I believe. Let's keep that straight as well, and just run that straight on to... Wait, I would if it would let us. Cannot build on water. <laughs> Where's the water? <laughs> My... Blind, or...? Okay, so I've built on some of that water that you can't see. I'm just lying. I didn't because it wouldn't let us. <laughs> yeah. All right, it's good to get that in. Uh, I'll probably do bus stops and whatnot off for that off cam. Um, and hopefully that'll work and it'll not be too problematic with traffic. It's got one entrance and one exit on the old bus station route there. Uh, yeah, we'll keep an eye on her central. Hopefully that will figure itself out now that it's got multiple ways in and around our city. And uh, next job while we're over here and on the roads is these guys all along here need waste removal. Because our uh, refuse trucks or bin wagons or garbage trucks or whatever you want to call them cannot get onto this path here. They can use it, I believe. It is allowed for public service vehicles, but they can't get onto it because it's not connected. Um, so I'm gonna put a road in. I mean, you'll say that I've leveled all this out. If you can remember from the last episode, it was a little bit hilly. I flattened it out because I, there is something I wanna do here. Uh, probably not for a couple of episodes yet because it is gonna be, wait, it's gonna be a little bit tedious and, and long. So uh, I will do that off cam, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in a four-lane road. Uh, and I'm just going to make it with a concrete central reservation. 
because I'm not entirely sure that this road is going to stay like permanently. So I can upgrade it if it is. If it isn't, then we can get shot. And so I'm going to go to there. Boom. So that is that in. Now we need to connect this road to our bridge, basically. Uh, but our bridge, I also want to connect down here. So what we're going to do, we're going to make sure that our road is on freeform for the start. And I'm just going to put in or continue this road here. And there, probably just run it around here like so. And then we are going to get this road. I'm um, going to run it straight through to there. And then to there. And then out of there like so. And that is another route in. Now, jump back on that concrete road, go under here. Can we do that? Yeah, we should be able to do that. Go to there. Just gonna jump on our terraforming tool. This is just spontaneous, so I haven't got this height. But we're just gonna bring all of this up. Probably as far as there. Includes all of that. Uh, probably round two, about there. Uh, jump back in the roads menu, and we're going to go freeform. We're going to freeform it to there. There. Round, and probably on to there. Like so. Yeah, that's cool. Gives our vehicle something else to drive on. Got a few more roads there. Hopefully our garbage trucks will be able to get in and collect the waste from here then. I'm just going to connect that road up. Using the path tool. So... There, uh, maybe it's like that, yeah, maybe it's... Take the traffic lights off. Mm, yeah, it should be alright. And um, we'll do the same a bit further along. Probably, uh... Just do it straight. And about there. Again, toggling off the lights! Cool. Right, hopefully our refuse trucks will get over and collect all of the... Crap from there. Now, I'm going to jump on to education followed by unique buildings. So, we'll jump in education first. I've already selected this big modern high school to go in and support this community down here. Good old Lake Windermere yeah, because I do need a little bit of education. So, we're going to go for high school, which we are ridiculously um, under. What's the word I'm looking for? Under capacity. Uh, I'm gonna put this bad boy here. Boom! And obviously these guys are happy because uh, there's, we are lacking a, a ton of education. Probably something I might have to take a look at off camera and just fix. Um, but hopefully that will help these guys develop as well. So we've got some education there. I'm gonna we're gonna need a university in here as well. Uh, and I'm thinking maybe it's this here, the music conservatory. Uh, pop it onto this corner here, because it fits perfectly. 75 grand? Yeah, why not? Boom. Took its time going in, but it's in. Look at that little beastie. Yeah, that's cool. And that acts as a university as well. Uh, so we've got two educationable things. We are going to need elementary. We're always under capacity in terms of elementary. It's just how we do it, I think. But uh, we're going to do another taxi station. There. No, oh, there. Boom. Right, let's just take a look at that. Yeah. Well, that's cool. That's a little bit taxi down here. 
right next, a couple of unique buildings that I've been looking at. Oh, these guys are level 3 unique buildings. Let me just find them. We've got this here, the Tanis Turn. Uh, and I wanted to put this little bad boy. Probably here, I was thinking. 70,000, yeah, boom. I want to try and help this area down here develop. Basically, I want a, a few, quite a few high-rise. Um, so, I'm going to put in a few unique builds in here just to encourage that. Uh, next up was a build that we've unlocked for putting in the restaurant pier, I think. Which was a, in our new menu, the leisure and tourism menu. And it was this little thing here, the luxury hotel. And this description is, this has a top of the line five star hotel with all, all the services and comforts you asked for. Uh, a luxury hotel can provide pleasant accommodations for everyone from the common tourist on a permanent holiday to the occasional quality conscious celebrity visiting your city. And I figured this would be a nice little addition to this area here. Uh, probably opposite this little beastie. Think about there, maybe. Hmm. Do I want to put it that way? No, we're going to put it that way, I think. 200 grand. It's not like we're short of a few quid. Let's have a look at this then. That is, uh, that's pretty awesome. Tyrell Hotels. That's cool. I like that. We have another building that I'd like to put in. Which was a... Tannis... No. No, 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 no. Oh, let's scrap that one. We'll go with the Drosphias. Prime Tower. That's this little beastie here. And we're gonna put that. Probably the back of the music conservatory, I think. Out there. 70 grand, boom, it's in. Beautiful. <laughs> that Tyrell Hotel thing is pretty epic. <laughs> that is awesome. Eh, okay, right, another building. Just keep putting building after building in. Was it? Oh, this here, the Pizzeria La Bohème, and I wanted to put this here, if it let us, about there. Eh? Boom. Oh, this is going to go awesome here, I mean, look at that, if we just jump in, you know, we pull up on the car park, we'll not park on the disabled bay because that's naughty, unless of course you're disabled. Eh, and then there. Got a nice little epic view of the lake. I mean, what more could you ask for? <laughs> right, there is some more buildings that I do want to put here. There's a, uh, a day bay tower, which I'm going to go ahead and find now. We can put that in. Uh, but there's a few things like casinos and things. I'm debating whether I put them in here or not. Um, but I'll have a think about that before I go ahead and put them in. The day bay tower can go there. Boom. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to just pull a little path through the gap there. And just jump in there. Our baby path tool. This one here. And make sure we're on free form so we get some decent curves. And I'm just going to curve that there. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, that's perfect. Beautiful. It's the same traffic using our bridge as well. Oh, they're going to collect the rubbish. Look. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> At least Dead's let up now as well, so it must have been traffic-related issues. Oh, maybe I'm just talking rubbish, because look at the traffic still! So many hearses. <laughs> How's our traffic doing here? 
Yeah, that's better. Look at that. That's much... That's relieved now. Uh, while we're up this end of the city, actually, we're going to go ahead and do some dezoning. Because uh, I want to do a little bit of land sculpting once I've finished this episode. And it involves all of this along here. So, we need to move these guys on to a new location. So, get rid of you. Get rid of all of you guys and also you. They should all leave and that will leave us able to sculpt that. I'm probably going to move this main road back over as well ever so slightly. Um, but I'm not yet sure. I'll have a, again, I'll have a think about that off cam. Um, but yeah. I've got a big old list in front of us from the last that I made up before the last episode. Uh, that I've been ticking off there as we go through it. But I'm not going to do any more. I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. Because uh, there's a few things I do want to put in. Uh, and the time consuming. And we've just lost our electric. And I know why that is. So if we just connect that up before we go. Um, yeah. It's going to be this guy here. To there. And everybody is back online. Just about. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, yes, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Next episode, we are going to do a tram. And we're going to try and do a tram. Uh, in and along here. That's why I wanted this road in here. I want the tram to run parallel to it. We might have to change this episode slightly, but we'll see how we go. Because um, the tram is in beta. It's in very early development, so... Um, it might work, it might not work, but we'll have a go. We'll have a go. We'll dedicate half the next episode to putting the tram in. And hopefully that'll be pretty epic. Just noticed a couple of our burial sites have finished emptying, so we're going to go ahead and start them emptying again. Uh, start them filling again, even. Which will help with our death issue if the cars can get out. <laughs> Look at the traffic! This is absolutely ridiculous! <laughs> Anyways guys, until the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.